Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're at Roebling Road Raceway in Georgia. We're testing for the Daytona 200, and if you followed along with the OFTV videos last year, you'll know that we won the Moto America Super Sport Championship. Well, this year, we're taking on the Moto America Superbike Championship on a Ducati V4R. After the team flew in from all over the world, we hopped on the tour bus, drove to the track, and began unloading the semi-truck to set up for the long weekend. Not only is testing really important to improve our bike, it also helps to see how we stack up against the competition. Racing superbikes means bigger bikes, bigger competition, and bigger payouts. So, so, I want to find foot bike position. I want to find hand bar position. I want to find seating position. I don't think we're going to go fast enough to find a balance on the bike. I'd be happy if we could just spend most of today just trying something for a little bit, come in, try something else for a little bit, and just go back and forth. I've got really high expectations for myself and the team this year. With the Daytona 200 coming up in a few days, we really need to dig deep and get comfortable and iron out any potential issues for the year. Oh my gosh, Nick. You wouldn't believe how loose my stomach feels compared to last year. I can see it. You can? Yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. Everywhere. I thought it was going to feel tighter on my legs because I've been bicycling, but it feels loose. Wow. No, last year I weighed 163.6 at the end of the year. 148 right now, but a week ago it was 144.6. So almost 20 pounds. It's pretty nice. Stomach feels a little, a little looser. section and there's like zero runoff <laughs> I ran off I'm like gosh ah, look up I'm like oh that wall is coming up quick <laughs> and uh, normally like racetracks have gravel so all the runoff is like grass and then there's gravel trap that's you know six inches to a foot deep to slow you down this was like like beach sand like I rode a street ball street bike right off in a foot deep beach sand it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I had it, thought I had it. And then the wall came up, was coming up fast. So I had to start turning instead of going straight and I couldn't slow it down anymore and just tipped over. So airbag went off. Bike doesn't even, I don't think, have a scratch on it because the sand was so soft. So, pretty good. Wipe this thing down, get the bike clean, head back out. reason when I'm riding I feel like it's gonna go limiter. Limiter Yeah, on that straight right here. So I roll off because I don't know. It's so loud it's hard to tell if it is but I think it was just a six year Yeah. Yeah we are eating the limiter. It was huh? Big change huh? Yeah big change. It's gonna be it's gonna be like this to me. 
20 kilometers, 20 kilometers <laughs> more. So, yeah. Yeah. With this being my final run for the day on the V4R, this was my one and only chance to get really comfortable. If I didn't manage to get comfortable with the V4R now, it could hurt our results at the first race at Road Atlanta in April. After a really good day of testing, the team wrapped up and headed out for dinner. Ciao, ciao. But no partying yet, because tomorrow it's back to the track by 7 a.m. to practice for the Daytona 200. I don't think you can fit under this thing without ducking. Clearance. It's day two at Roebling. Testing the V2 today. My energy's not very high. This espresso hasn't kicked in yet. Yesterday we rode the Superbike, it was a really good day. Today, uh, today's all V2 testing. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Daytona 200 pit stop testing. And uh, have some fun with some Insta360s. Guys, that's a wrap on testing. Everything went really well. Yesterday we were able to ride the Superbike all day. 240 horsepower Ducati V4R, that thing was insane. Today we rode the V2, which is the super sport bike that I won the championship on last year that we'll be racing at Daytona this weekend. So we got a lot of practice on that thing. Felt really well, tested tires for Dunlop. Those things were great. Uh, as you saw, we were able to get a lot of onboard footage today. That's because of our new partner, Insta360. We use this X3 camera that you could see, was able to get the 360 footage, and also have a super clear point of view shot if you don't want to use the 360 stuff, which is also cool to integrate sometimes. Uh, we've also partnered with OnlyFans again, so we're gonna have 25 videos on OFTV this year instead of the 10 that we had last year, as well as a handful of videos on YouTube now. I've hired Lanky full-time this year, which is awesome, so we'll have him for a bunch of content, so make sure you guys let us know what you want to see. And now we're gonna go into pit stop practice, try to get down and get into the eight second pit stop range to help me during the race so that I don't need to worry so much about doing fast lap times like I just rely on quick Ducati pit stops. So let's go check it out. I think we should stay together. Though. Why? Because we can work together and pull away from them. That's an idea too. Because this guy is gonna be at the my, front, My right? plan was, I'm not saying I'm faster than Ducati at all. I'm not saying that. But at Daytona, it seems like it takes a little while to get used to it. I'd rather just go out with him every session and help. I would rather work together and pull away from those guys and just not even fuck He's them. right. If you break them up, he doesn't have a teammate on the track anymore. Uh -huh. Then he we could to, be working alone the whole time. Because okay. they need to give each other a draft. Like, like fast, 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 fast. So if, he, if they break up, if then they have to find each other. And do you agree with the strategy for the race to try to stay together? They were saying we maybe they only use one team for the pit stop and then you pit one lap, I pit the next, but then we separate. We could do it, but I think if we work together and say you're faster on the infield, but maybe I'm a little bit lighter and I can pull on the draft. If we seesaw, I did it before with Ben Bosch when I was teammates with him. We really worked together. You, you, you use the same people for the pit stop. 
No, no, different. No, different. Yeah, different. But on the same lap. Yeah. And even if your pit stop was a second faster than mine at Daytona, unless you're half a second a lap faster, I can catch with the cap. He's so having to go like this. Yeah, but you're having to go like this to grab this one? No, this one I do. I do that away. Yeah. And I bring it in with this one. There is what I'm saying. Yeah. But I, I'm I'm holding it. I feel the pressure on this. I'm hitting it. So maybe they, maybe they put that because it doesn't slide on that fault. I don't know. Try doing it without pulling your foot there and leave your foot out like this a little bit more so you don't get stuck on it. Go! Thank you, Lord and Savior, Josh. <laughs> <laughs>